Okay. Okay. Hey, darling. Hey, baby. I know you're working, but I'm working too. Can I do this real quick? Well, I don't know how to put it. Okay, go ahead. Finish that. I'm finishing this. Listen. Mmm. Oh, you finished already? I just about to tell him about the smoothie I just made. There's some smoothie there for you. I'm a smoothie master. I'll tell you it's another video about this, but this is a smoothie. Mmm. Pineapple, mango, lychee juice. Oh man, oh, I can't tell. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I better start. Okay, hey, listen. Okay, wait, 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 Anthony, Anthony. You guys, I need to do one last stitch. Well, go ahead, do a stitch, baby. Stitch. I'm, I'm looking for some of I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm working in my office. Where's my, oh, here it is. And I just got this. Hurry, baby, hurry. We're wasting digital time. Like that. Okay, as you can see, I'm getting I'm my thing digital. together. You're at it. I'm trying to be witty. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, let me see. A little Prestic. I first learned about Prestic when I came to South Africa. Doing workshops, and they say, hey, use Prestic. What are you talking about? And then you get this little thing like, like Silly Putty. You know, something like that. Then you have to put it on the thing, and then you press it onto the thing. Move this out the way. Hey. If my cup flies, uh, put this up here, get this out the way. Ah, okay. No, I'm going on slow. Anyway, so here's the deal. Uh, I'm building my desk here. Now you say, desk? What kind of desk? You know, the ADOS desk. <laughs> It's an ADO desk. It, it's an ADOS desk. You know? Now, I read a desk before, a long time ago. I'm talking about this is a 1984, 1983 84, the, the, the presidential run as president. But yeah, the presidential season. That's the season that um, I got an awkward here. That's the season that uh, Jesse Jackson first ran. And it's interesting because because in New York, which I was, I was living on Low East, well, I was living on uh, 14th Street, between, right off of Avenue A. And, um, and so we had to canvas that area because you have to get enough names on the ballot so he can be on the, on the thing. So, you know, I started to do that. And, you know, it was quite interesting. It was my first real whatever. It was quite interesting because you got to go knock on doors, get them to sign, you know, and make sure the Democrats, well, they had to sign up as Democrats. And this is Democrats. I, I guess it's still that way. You have to do like a year and a half or a year, a year ahead of time, something like that. Put this one right here. Ah, just press the head. And anyway, so, oh, you all can hear me. Ah, so I ran what I call, uh, at, uh, where was I at? Yeah, just, oh, I was tight. I don't know. I, 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 oh, yeah, I was at BAI. Yeah, I was at BAI. That's not the point. Um, I call it the desk of the disenfranchised. Hey, I'm good with, with, names, with names. The desk of the disenfranchised. So this is one of my things I'm putting up. A, hashtag ADOS, got a little star, that's what it is, is bulletproof. Then I give the, you know, www.ados101.com, uh, and uh, then ADOS has to find here uh, North American descendants of uh, chattel slavery. I had spelled it wrong. Like, I'm, I'm always updating stuff. This one, you know, in case you can't see it, it looks like this. Hmm? Got it? Okay. So that's done. I think I'm going to put, uh, I think I changed my things down there. It's correct spelling because what? This one, oh, this is interesting. I can't, I'll go. Uh, I wrote this in uh, um, 8 1, so I guess that uh, January 8th, uh, 2017. Uh, there was something that happened. Whoa, oh, wait a second, let me, um, what Yvette Cornell is saying. This is, I, you know, I, I used to, I've been running with Yvette since, I don't know, 2000, um, 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 16, no, 15? I don't know, Look, I, 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 when she was, with, when she was on, on Boyce's channel, and then when, and then when she hooked with her. Um, what I, uh, what I, this is, remember this is 2017, and this is January 8th, I think that's the 8th, uh, that's the way I do it in American. I guess it may be the eighth month, the first day. Anyway, it says, uh, uh, what Yvette Carnell is saying. What I hear Yvette uh, saying has to do with us descendants of chattel slavery. D-O-C-S, that's what I put there. Ooh, 
who have come through uh, captivity, slavery, Jim Crow, segregation, school to prison pipeline, et al. Et, et uh, since at least uh, 1965, there has been an, an, an interpretation about due compensations for wealth building, um, a building of the wilderness of, uh, that is the United States of North America. Um, them now being used, I got, da, 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 uh, anyway, I'm saying that I'm so uh, investment saying this. Uh, I got the date right there. Um, I mean, never read the whole thing. Uh, then now being used uh, by the system of Anglo racist white supremacy in the ploy of pigmentation to dilute our due compensation and reparations. Wow! Mm. So I put stuff on the wall and forget. Um, we are and have been in, in a struggle for justice. I'm going to have justice because I'm defining justice. Justice and mercy. Okay. Yeah. Most of all, most for the immigrants and others, at least since 1960, at least that, since that 1965 point, have benefited wildly off our decades of struggle. Many of those really successful immigrants and migrants, immigrants slash migrants, even have the gall to come to this struggle situation and not continue the struggle but thwart, demean, and even actively block, or even worse, move against the justice we seek. Ay, 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 did I write this? My goodness, this is 2017, 2019 right now, wow. Folks like the Harris woman have roots and land, I guess she was talking about Kamala Harris back then? I'm confused now. Folks like that Harris woman have roots and land masses they can send monies and other support back to, uh, back to for uh, for further upliftment of their obvious li uh, lineage and, and and current family circumstances. While still others have fled struggles in their own lands to come here to feed the uh, and here to feed the source. I'm talking about the beast, uh, causing their woes in their lands. To, uh, um, uh, causing more woes in the lands of their origins. This is interesting. And at that, uh, and at the, at the same time, they trample upon us who are fighting for our freedom and, by logical extension, the freedom for the downtrodden people of the lands they hightailed it from, in the in the ultimate form of cowardice. Ooh, I'm rough. I'm rough when I write. When I talk, I'm more messed up. When I write, my goodness, this is uh, this is interesting. I'm gonna read this. They were uh, slash are traitors to their peoples and now barnacles to our cause. Shame on them and shame on us for allowing those cowards to leech within our ranks. Yay! Oh, damn, I'm more radical than I thought. Whoa, 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 whoa. Me... Simply put, and Yvette says it well, don't come into the middle of our struggle to claim identity with us. Um, the other, we just back then with the old, you know, um, the old S, whatever. For your for your and yours own personal gain. That is straight up pimping. And we should not lay down or be laid out for pimps. Wow. And then I, oh, I define justice. I said, uh, 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 hat, no, what else? Asterisk. Um, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines justice. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Remember that name. Get his book. You know the book I'm talking about? I also, what we what we do here. This one here, this one here. The United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept, a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, white supremacy. Now, if you don't think you're a victim of racism, white supremacy, you don't even look at this book. No, you can look. Everybody should look at the book. It's nearly full of junior. Anyway, that's, this is the uh, 1984 edition. I just had it bound here at Lovedale uh, Press, which is a revolutionary press in South Africa. It's actually located here in Alice. They're the ones that put all the, all the pamphlets out for, you know, for the struggle. Okay, he defines justice as the guarantee no one is mistreated. And I put the semicolon there. And those who need help get the most constructive help. Those of the Issa Harris ilk stripe offer no constructive help. They act counter to our interest and in ultimate liberation. Remember, action speaks louder than words. I'm confusing because we mentioned ha um, we're, I'm mentioning Harris and it's 2017. Is this August or January? I don't know. August 2017, I guess. August. Maybe she said she was running there. Wow, that's interesting. So anyway, this, this is... I'll put this over here. Look on that. Now, what am I? Okay. Now, you might ask, what's going on? 
Good question. Well, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, I've been, well, here, look. Who, no, no, go, no. You know where from? That's from Anna Kalapa, or fella Anna Kalapa Kuti, uh, the music, Nigerian magician, musician, and uh, the And he read, who, no, no, who doesn't know, go, no. Can't go to knowledge? I don't know. You, you can figure it out. It's fella, you know fella. Okay, now. Hmm. Okay, so so I'm building this desk now. I'm giving you the, the, the how the desk started because remember I had this had a desk I call it a desk from the desk of disenfranchised, <clears throat> and it was interesting because and that what that political thing showed me is that we I have seen I had seen grown people when the primary when the primaries came to New York and people had to vote. If you wasn't registered, a lot of people didn't know. They just, Jesse Jackson, they said, oh, I'm gonna vote for Jesse Jackson. And they go down there, but they wasn't registered. They didn't do anything. And I seen grown people cry. I'm telling you, grown people were crying. That's unbelievable. And I said, wow. And that time I was hanging out, not hanging out, but you know, because uh, it was um, Charles Rangel Club, you know, with the whole uh, um, Jay Raymond, whoever, up there in Harlem. So I would, you know, I'd go up there and some, some meetings, whatever have you. And um, I remember, always remember Denny Farrow giving this, uh, this uh, what do you call that, this typical, what they define in a politician, he told me one time, you know what it is to be a good politician? You find out where the, where the group is going and you jump in front of it. Isn't that, okay, well, you, you, you understand what he's saying. I'm going, wow, and it was interesting back those times because all kinds, people weren't paying attention. But here's the thing. Uh, because Jesse was so successful in, in galvanizing and, and you know getting people to register and, and around the campaign, and people were, were hip then. I think the next year, like 60, 85, was a, a mayoral elections for for um, you know for New York. Now here's the trick because I was in, I was with hanging out with the public, big time politicians, I'm hanging out, but you know on the sides. I'm a witness to a lot of things in history. Basil Patterson was supposed to have been um, the, uh, the, the uh, running for governor of New York, right? David Dinkins was, was uh, the uh, uh, borough, um, Manhattan borough president, something like that. What, but somehow, right at some particular point, the Basil dropped out. They must have had some dirt on him, right? And they, they had to recruit somebody. They recruited David Dinkins. David Dinkins never wanted to be mayor of New York. Look it up, you know? And so he never wanted to be mayor. You know, he wanted to play tennis and, you know, be, you know, borough president of Manhattan, whatever it is. So he was reluctantly, and of course he was successful. And I guess they made, when they made that deal with Basil Patterson, there must have been something happening because, it, you know, his, his son, um, the other Patterson, baby Patterson, who became governor, you know, he's, he, he, he became governor eventually. But he, he got, it was very, he, he was very, very pretty progressive. Now, you know, David Patterson, he was like blind, you know what I mean? Legally blind. And you know, it wasn't that great a looking, you know, well, Basil was, well, he thought it was dapper because they were light skinned. Like, well, I'm, I'm not getting no colorism. Anyway, so what happened was David became, uh, David becomes governor, right? And they get him up in a sex candle, which is like sex and drugs, cocaine, something like that. So he eventually got rid of him, he was no, even though he was putting stuff in place. Okay, let's go back to, to David. So when David did, everybody, we were mobilizing all of us, very enthusiastic about being the first, getting the first black mayor in New York, okay? One of the Star Wars workers out of Brooklyn was Sonny Carson. Now, Sonny Carson's like, you know, wrote this great book, you know, the, um, the education of Sonny Carson, went into a movie, whatever, whatever. So it's very, very, very politically active on the ground, okay? So when he when he becomes mayor, now I also knew his uh, his uh, campaign manager, whatever uh, uh, Lynch, uh, Bill Lynch. Bill Lynch was the campaign manager. And also somebody else, a friend of somebody else that would became part of our team. Now, as soon as Dave became uh, became um, uh, mayor, he did some very shady things. The first thing he did was he had deputy he had deputy mayors. So Bill was one, but they kept this guy Stossel because his claim to fame was with the, with the sanitation people. See, they were, or they, they may have been uh, four people or six, even six people on a garbage truck. They made these small garbage trucks to his only like two people. So he saved a lot of money, you know, and they, they allowed that to happen. Hold on, I gotta close the window because they're talking. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to record, please. Hey, they're not listening. They're not listening. Hey, look.
We're in the rural area, the neighbor's right over there. Okay. So yes, that's what happened, you know? He started, he threw, he, and, and he, get, he, he just got dis disowned, you know, uh, disowned uh, Sonny Carson. And it's like, we were like, we were like, I said, what the hell is this guy doing, you know what I mean? And it ends up that he did more, I guess in a bid, I don't guess, maybe if somebody didn't want to be mayor, it sounded like he was trying to run for mayor again because he did more for all these other communities than for basically the black community, a little bit, you know what I mean? That's what happened. Okay, I'm saying all that, I'm sorry to be so long. Because when Obama got in, when he started, you know, he could get galvanized every day, as soon as he became president, he got rid of his whole, everybody, that, you know, the, the whole email list, or whatever, got rid of them. And then he, and basically it was shown that what happened was the, um, what do you call that, the, uh, the people at Citicorp or whatever, whatever Citibank, whatever the bank it was, they're the ones that, they're JP, whatever it was, they're the ones that, everybody in that cabinet was all, they, they appoint everybody in, in Obama's cabinet. And I guess told him, you gotta get rid of them, them troops that you, uh, that you gathered, right? And so that's what happened. Mm. And I saw, when it was happening, I was, saying, I was going wild. He's pulling the Dinkins. He's pulling the Dinkins. And, 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 but it's worse, you know what I mean? I forget Van um, Jones. I met Van Jones when I shook Van Jones. This is when I was at PFW, before he became more public, when he was still with the Ella Baker Center. Anyway. But the, but the one that, that really hurt me, well, then he got, they got, they attacked Acorn, wouldn't come to defend, and Acorn were like a really grassroots, you know, uh, I loved Acorn. Okay, so they were doing it, so they got rid of it, you know, didn't defend them. But the worst to me, well, after, in his term, the worst thing that happened, the, the, the Attorney General was, was a black woman, but there was another woman in housing or something like that, and she was doing something to help even the white farmers, and they came after her, and he allowed her to be jettisoned from his, his, his cabinet, it was like amazing. I'm going like, what is this guy doing? What's going on? I mean, I was upset, you know, but what can I do? I'm, you know, okay. So that's what happened. So it's interesting, all these things are happening. People are starting to wake up, and then when I say wake up, being conscious of what's going on. So now you figure out, now we figure out, hey, these are politicians, they're doing what they do. Trump gets elected, everybody's saying, wait a second, how did this happen? Well, because people fell down on the job. That's what happened. So, there you go. Unbelievable. So, ain't, can't do, no, no, no more pulling anything over our eyes, you know? No, people are like going. So anyway, so it's when, uh, so when, so when Yvette and, uh, and, and Antonio uh, mushroomed up, you know, the uh, um, uh, American descendant of, 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 of slavery, and it is slavery. People have to say slavery. Where's my, I got stuff all over the place. Where is it? You can't see slavery. It's too, too, too small. I think I have. See, this one I had to get rid of. But so when I'm doing my desk thing, here's the thing. Here's an interesting thing. I make mistakes all the time. I'm one of those people that listen to Miles Davis. Miles, Miles said, there are no mistakes. It's the only way you take things. So this, for instance, I had this signed up a long time, but as you can see, it's a little messed up because it says uh, North, you know, I cross out the North, American descendant, the chattel of slavery. But that's not, it's supposed to be North, uh, American descendants uh, of chattel slavery. So that, you see it's, it's changed down there, right? See it's changed, but okay. So I had to change that. So I started to get a new one. But I do this all the time. So we're building the desk. You're seeing at all the mistakes and everything, whatever it is. So, so I so I did that. But I have a um, so, so 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 now you're seeing the desk is being created. My little thing. This is the corner for uh, ADOS corner. Over there's my Wakanda corner. And 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 when I do the sus hut, that's for something else. Okay. I wanted to show you something. Okay. Now I make up stuff all the time. Now first of all, let me say something. Because I'm a dentist and a nearly fuller junior, you know. Um, Mm. Ah, I love smoothies. Um, one of the things he says is that you really shouldn't call people names. You shouldn't be, you know, calling names. So I've come up with a thing, because uh, you know, everybody, it, it's fun to the coon, call coons or whatever have you. But I came up with another one. I'm gonna put it down. N E O capital N E G R Oh, how do you spell Negro? N-E-G, Negro, N-E-G-R-O, Negro. I guess that's how you spell it, I guess. I call, I call these, uh, you call them coons, I call them 
Neo Negroes. Neo Negroes. New Negroes. They think they're new, but they're old. Okay. Okay, so I call them Neo Negroes. So that's one thing I do. But I do a lot of things. Like, for instance, people, we, we always use that word, you know, everybody says, um, uh, uh, I, say, I can't curse because I'm an elder. I can't go. I'll, I'll explain that maybe on my, I'll explain it another time. I'll just explain someplace else. But anyway, uh, so they, you know, they, they have the whole MF, you know, but now with all this thing with the way we're being attacked by the, the by, by I guess gay or whatever whatever they whatever people call them, I call them F A T H E R father. I spell father. Yes, father. And then I cut F U. I cut this the cent sign K A. You say it, I can't say it. Father. Because if you're a homosexual man, you you don't mess with women, you mess with men. Some of these men may be fathers. So you are really, so I use that. Now you say, oh, why are you attacking those people? I'm not attacking them. I'm, I'm, I'm doing something where I usually don't do. I'm being react, not react, I'm being accurate. Just like, uh, uh, American descendants of, of slaves, slavery, I'm sorry, slavery, slavery because, you know, slavery is the, is the institution, the condition. It's not slaves. Slaves is the individual. So we have to be slavery. We, we're dealing with institu institution in countries right now. Anyway, so they, they're, they're like, what's attacking us? Oh, I'm going like, wow, what's going on here? People really have to understand. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the Pan-Africanists, and yes, I've been through the Pan-African, da da da. Yeah, I've shaken, you know, a bunch of hands of people, you know, whatever. We are, we have identified it as an accurate clan within the global situation. So oh, this whole competition, this out, da da da, da. The Pan-Africanists, you have a different, you can be ADOS and Pan-African at the same time. It's just that the Pan-African struggle is what it's always, you know, it's always been like this for a long time. So people are just concentrating on the on, on our clan right now. Now, if you're a Pan-Africanist and you and you you keep on with your struggle, if you want to support us, you support us on our terms, not your terms. You understand? If you are a Pan-Africanist, for sure, you got a global thing that you're trying to hook up. We're just one part of that global global thing. Think of it like, um, you know, uh, the Pan Africa. Oh, Marcus Garvey, though, though he, well, he came to America to, to launch his, his thing. But say you're, I don't know, uh, 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 Angolan or, or Nigerian American fella, right? That, or Nigerian, yeah, Nigerian American. Yeah, but your reparations are owed to English. So you, you're a Pan African struggle, even though you want to get everybody together. If you're going to attack an institution, you don't attack uh, your clan. You don't attack your the, the ADOS clan, right? And all, all kinds of problems. What you do is you say, hey, cool, y'all, let me see what y'all can do. Because as we know, with black people in, the, in, in America, with ADOS does in America, that has taken off for years. It's taken off. When I first started to travel uh, in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, every time I went someplace, yeah, early 90s, uh, people would be asking me, well, Rodney King have no more. When I traveled, people would ask me about like political things. They asked me about the Panthers right then. They asked me about uh, Rodney King eventually, like that. It's because now when I travel, I hear a lot about hip hop, blah, 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 blah. Who you need? Do you, do you come from there? Oh, do you know uh, Jay Z? Do you know Chaos? Whatever it is. They, I'm going like strange, man, strange. The political thing is going. But now, with this, I guarantee people are going to be asking about ADOS, at least the people I hang out with. You see? So it's going to be interesting. So I think the Pan African or uh, the Pan Africanist. You see what you do. See what we do. And I'm not saying hitch on to our thing, but keep on staying your stay what you're doing. Everything will be all right. Believe me, it'll be all right. So anyway, uh, that's uh, that's all I have to say now. It's just uh, I'm built. I'm building. I'm working. I'm I'm working it. Working it. Working it. Working it. Let me see if I can find something. I'm just looking for something real quick. I'm working it. Working it. Working it. That's what I do. Um, uh, so I, from this perch here, that's when I, I'll do all my little commentaries and stuff like that um, from um, from this, you know. So that's really about it. That's all I really wanted to say. Um, so you know, I hope everybody is, you know, doing what they're supposed to do. Stay in your lane. Leave people alone. Stay away from, you know, whatever you're gonna s stay away from. And be well. Uh, drink, drink healthy. You know what I mean, like that. What I really like about um, living here in, in, in Lebet, 
it's a bit, it, it, it's, it's a seasonal thing. Like this is pineapple and mango. Pineapple season is just, it's still going on, it's just ending. Mango season is just, is, has come in, right? And so when you eat, you're eating what's, what, you know, what the cycle that you're supposed to eat. We're not importing, well, we can, but we don't import things like that. So it's really, really, really very good. Anyway, that's just a message, a uh, slight short message. I got to do another one on the, on the Oscar, something like that. Anyway, that's a short message from me. T, maybe not so short. From the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, speaking from a desk of the DOS, letting you know what I only suspect.